But I've been using projection design projectors for the last decade, and I simply use them because they're the best projectors for my work. The reason why I use them is because I take a lot of time and consideration in terms of making my images. I shoot on film, they tend to be 35mm film or super 16mm films. And what we rely on when we use projection design projectors is that we know we're going to get a really fantastic image. And uh, I think for myself, in this piece of work, 10,000 Waves, which is a nine-screen work, which I shot in China, one of the things that's really very important in the work is for it to have a certain colour depth to the image and also a certain colour saturation. And the depth of field in terms of the actual contrast ratio is very, very important. And so there's something around the technology or the perfectionist aspect of projection design projectors which sing or rhyme with my images. So whenever I'm showing the work, whenever the work's been bought by a museum or a foundation or a collector, we always recommend projection design projectors for the work. In most cases, clients do tend to buy them because they know that aesthetically these are the projectors that I want to show my work. They're the first port of call in relationship to show my work. And that's been the case for the last 10 years. So basically, um, I think for us, the, the projection, they're the projectors which have been recommended also by RTV, who is the company that I've been working with over the last several years, especially on this project, which is a very de demanding project because it's very technically specific, Aesthetically, it's very important that the nine screens work in a sculpture, aesthetic manner, and uh, it's important that the, the kind of technology that matches uh, the aesthetic of these two things actually enhance one another. And in the projection design projectors, there's a certain look that I'm able to achieve, which is not really achievable in other projectors as far as we're concerned. So that's why we use them and that's why this museum has purchased them and they're here now projecting this work, which is now owned by um, the National Museum of Norway.